So this is how we started. After a little bit of work, we got a lot better. After a while, we decided to standardize the parts. I will include a parts list in the comment section below. Yeah, so I was just doing a little bit of pre-assembly to make this easier. This is the firing mechanism. It's pretty simple. It's just a, a rounded piece of wood. You got the two two inches either side of the four inch rounded piece of wood on top. Just put a staple nail in each side and um, should, yeah, it flexes. So as long as it turns kind of like that, we're good. Here we are putting a holder for the barrel on top of the uh, handle that we made out of a 2x4. It's about, the handle's about 30 inches long. The holder is about 17 inches long and made from a 1x3. Here we decided to add this extra piece of, this extra handle we made out of a random piece of wood we found. Just cut it on a scroll saw. It's pretty easy. Here we added the end of the bow, just using one screw, it was a 36 inch 1x2 board with a hole drilled in each end and 36 inch bungee cord. That bungee cord will later get pulled back over the barrel of the crossbow. This is the fitting for the bayonet which was added opposite to the barrel. The bar they were both screwed on with a fitting on either side of the handle top and bottom. Here we see the finished product. You can see the bayonet holder on the bottom and the bayonet in his hand just below. Here we see a body soldier holding the whole opening base. He spots an enemy and fails. The enemy blocks he charges with his bayonet, striking down his enemy. <laughs>